have kind of come to the end of the first week of the new financial year and it seems to have come through with a big bang. The Nifty has come through with the highest ever weekly closing at a level of somewhere around the 11,700 mark. Now what that really means, if we look at the RSI on the weekly charts of Nifty, there is still a lot of space on the upside. What it means is currently we are at a level of around 11,700 while the RSI on the weekly chart is placed around the 69 mark. The last time around when the Nifty had kind of closed around similar levels was on 31st of August 2018 when it had kind of spanned to a level of 78 and therefore it indicates that there is further upside as far as let's say the Nifty is concerned as we can make it out on the weekly charts. Having said that, we have seen some amount of profit booking coming through last week, especially in the heavyweight sectors like Bank Nifty and the financial services, which in our opinion is absolutely as is warranted and such corrections would be certainly seen through as good and healthy corrections that are essential for further up moves in these sectors. Going to the sectoral level, we see some kind of profit booking coming through in the financial services pack and we are seeing some up moves happening in the likes of metals and reality. As far as the weak sector is concerned, as of now only the auto sector is one which is kind of showing some weakness. Although the biggest heavyweight within the auto sector that is Maruti is still firing on all cylinders. Moving on to the levels, we consider that 11,760 which was corresponding to the all time high followed by the level of around 11,800 as a major barrier and in a scenario that it stands taken out the extrapolated level around 12,100 would certainly act as a barrier at least till the coming expiry. On the lower side, the supports are placed around the 11,640 mark which corresponds to the average to date price of Nifty till yesterday and a gap that was created because of expiry in between 11,569 and 11,640 on the upside expiring over two days is certainly one to watch out for on the lower side. Having said that, we feel that there is certainly a chance that stock specific movements could be flavor of the coming week. Moving on to the stock specific front, we would go by the sectors which we have kind of mentioned earlier and we stand bullish on Tata Steel which has given a clear breakout about the 550 mark. We are contemplating it for an up move till a level of around 585 to 590 on the higher side while maintaining a support level at a level of around 528. On the contrary, auto pack certainly seems to be under pressure and we would kind of go short in the likes of Mahindra Mahindra which has closed around the 660 mark. The downside potential for this stock is still a level of around 610 while on the upside immediate resistance stands at the 688 mark which corresponds to the average trade price of last week. Thank you and I hope you have a profitable trading session coming week.